Hi guys, Olga Sobi here and today I'm doing a third test of the Artist Loft Ready Mix Pour and Paint. In my last video I asked you what are the other techniques that you would like me to try, test and demonstrate and the most uh, popular answers were uh, swipe techniques, so that's going to be one of them, uh, Dutch pour technique with silicone and because last time I also did a uh, Dutch pour but it's just there on the wall. I did not get any cells or lacing. It turned out very well, but it's definitely different from a regular Dutch pour look. So many of you asked me to um, test it with silicone and hopefully that can compensate for cells and lacing. So that's gonna be for another pour today. And also many of you wanted to see me keep exploring the transparency of this paint. So that's the number three. With that being said, I'm gonna get started. And yeah, I'm going to link the first two videos in the description of the video. So check them out if you haven't seen them yet. By the way, I got new color, I got red. And I wanted to get more white, but they didn't have a regular white. So the white that I'm having here is a metallic white, which I think is pretty cool. I would love to see how that turns out. So I'm adding just a one drop of silicone per color. So for the first technique, I think I want to do a Dutch pour. And for the base, I'm going to use this metallic white and no silicone in the base color. So silicone is only going to be in the colors in the center. When I was at Michael's, they had almost no colors left of this ready mix paint. Um, they only had like metallic white, black, and some sort of red. So obviously, they're doing very good with this paint, despite the price, because I think they are overpriced. Okay, so now I am going to add a little bit of color with silicone. And I'm only gonna do three colors today. So yeah, as you can see, I am getting some cells from silicone, but they are very different cells from what you normally get in dark pour. Still pretty cool. So it worked out pretty interesting with silicone, but uh, still when I'm torching, I'm only getting cells where there is actually some silicone and when I'm torching areas without them, I'm not getting any cells whatsoever. Um, here is what I got. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Um, I'm curious to see how it's going to look when dry. Am I going to get a lot of pits from silicone? And also I see that I have a little bit of gold in the center right now. It's not very um, obvious. Only when you look against the light, but I think it might look pretty cool when dry. I'm gonna put this away and I'll go to my next techniques. So for the next one, I want to do a swipe. And I'm going to use again a pearlescent white as my swipe color. I'm gonna start layering my colors this way. Remember last time I dropped my canvas? So now I'm very careful about how I put it there.
So at this time I have a little bit of silicone in all of the colors, including my swipe color, this pearlescent white, metallic white. I kept thinking about what I want to use for my swipe tool and I want to uh, try and use the plastic wrap if I'm going to manage how to keep it without sticking everywhere. Did not work out perfectly, but look at those cells. Cells are nice. I like those cells. Oh, these cells are actually multicolor. I, it's the best. I like it the best when the cells are opening like this. Not in a single color, but several different, different colors in one cell. Okay, I'm gonna put it towards you and I'm going to torch it. Okay, a lot, a lot, a lot happening. Oh, I think it's so beautiful, especially this area. Okay, it looks like I'm getting cells where the flame kissed the surface. Nice and quick, right here. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's, it's acting very different from all the other mixtures. Usually, if you have silicone in a mixture, uh, it begins to open up right away, even before you torch it. But this one, it's, it's a bit, I mean, I don't know, maybe it's the consistency, maybe it's the formula, I don't know, but it doesn't open even with silicone, but if you torch it, you're getting crazy cells. I really like it. I think it's very cool. I really like this piece. You know, for some reason it makes me feel happy. Like all the cells, colorful cells, they make me feel very happy. You know what, I'm, not, I'm actually going to start torching it. I don't care that uh, I don't have cells in some of the areas. I actually think that it brings the interest to the piece. Very nice colors. I absolutely love how they all uh, combine together. And I have a lot of gold here that looks like a pale yellow, but I think that once it's gonna be dry, it's gonna be pretty cool. And also I'm very, very excited to see how this metallic white is gonna dry. Yeah, I should just stop, put it away and proceed to the next one. In the meantime, guys, look at this one. Oh my gosh, the cells begin to open and this lacing you, looks very beautiful. Now I like it a lot. I over torched it in some areas because the cells look sort of broken. That's what happens if you torch too much, but I was trying to get cells. Give me cells. Yeah, don't over torch it. Just a nice light kiss of the flame. So remember this one from the last video, it did not work out um, very exciting. I was trying to go for the transparency effect. And although I do have a lot of layers, like I see a lot of layers here, I'm not very happy about this piece, so I'm going to use it again. I mean, it's a good canvas, why waste? So I'm going to pour right over and it's a bit of a risk because we know this paint is transparent, so maybe it's I am going to actually see this dark uh, blue under new layers. It can be a bad thing, but it can actually be a good thing. So I'm taking a risk and I'm going to pour right over it. So last time I did a flip cup and this time I want to go for uh, just a dirty pour and I'm not going to add any silicone for that. So I'm just going to get, uh, I'm going to add colors straight from the bottle. I really like the order of colors for my swipe, so I'm gonna try and do the same order, if I remember it right.
All right, this is more than enough and I am just gonna get started. Oh, you know what I forgot to add? The white color. I'm like, why is this so so not right? <laughs> I forgot about the white. Ah, oh, damn it. I think it would look much better with white. But there is no way back. I think it's pretty cool. I really like it. This is 100% different from my regular style. I usually never do like a dirty pour, like a ribbon pour, however you want to call it. But this is pretty cool. And I already see the transparency right here. And rain just started. I absolutely love pouring in the rain. Can you guys hear it? Rain somehow keeps me cozy and inspired. Let's pop the air bubbles, because I see a few, not many, just a few. And I am going to stop. I'm also going to put this one away. Hey guys, so just a quick overview of the dry results. I'm going to start with the Dutch pour. The cells kept opening during the drying. So right now it doesn't really look like a Dutch pour anymore, but I still like it. And especially I like the center where I still have the red and the gold. And all of these cells has opened exponentially, like they opened like crazy while drying. Uh, I really like them. I like this chaos of cells. It reminds me of some sort of underwater theme, I think. Okay, so that was a Dutch pour with silicone. This was just a dirty pour, like a ribbon pour. And you know, look at this gold. Like, I'm not a huge fan of this composition, but the gold just honestly compensates any flaws of this pour. So yeah, I did get a lot of the transparency uh, effect, especially you can see it in this line right here, and here in the center. And honestly, it's a shame I forgot to put the white in it because I think it would be so much better and so much more interesting with white because right now it's a bit too dark in my opinion. And you know what, no, it's not my regular style of pouring. It kind of looks cool, looks very like modern. And I honestly like it, especially the gold, yeah. So I saved best for last, the swipe. Oh my God, you guys. Without exaggeration, this is the best swipe I have done in my entire pour, pouring practice. So first of all, cells kept opening a little while drying, but not too much. All of them are just tremendously looking. The gold is so beautiful. And I honestly, it doesn't happen very often, but with this pour, I love every single detail i love every single part and the only thing that i'm sorry for is that i didn't do it on a bigger canvas because it's absolutely amazing so now i'm gonna do a close up and just check out all the details and i think i did very good color um very good color combo for this one so that's of course that's a part of it it wouldn't be so cool if the colors were boring but yeah, the cells, although they're not perfectly round cells, they're just amazing. And I really like this part where um, like the white just blends into um, gold. And I'm not sure if you have noticed, but some of the areas of white are like sort of going to transparent. And it's so cool. And yeah, I used the metallic white. So you can't tell much that it's metallic. Yeah, you probably can against the light. It's not super metallic-y, but more like pearlescent white. So yeah, really can't be more happy and excited about this one. And I actually have to thank you guys because swipe is not my regular go for technique. And if you didn't give me the idea to try it with this ready mix paints, I probably wouldn't even do it. I wouldn't try the swipe. So thank you so much and looking forward to hear more ideas. If you have any, if you would like me to try with those ready mixed paints and I can guarantee you one thing, I'm definitely going to uh, do another swipe 
or maybe not one with these paints. Just love it. Absolutely love it. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a like if you also like my results, especially the swipe. And actually, I'm looking forward to hear from you if you have also tried those paints and what was your experience with them. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.